the next type, which is rolling update. Okay. So this is the default method which Kubernetes also gives. So what happens in rolling update? As I said, one by one. Remember this word. So now the same example. So you have your web application and it's having two replicas. Suppose if you are trying to deploy it in a rolling update, you're going to remove it one by one. Okay, so what do you mean by that one by one? So now let's say there is an old build. Now if I'm interested to replace it with new build two new containers, first thing what we will do, we will now create a new container or pod which has the new build. Okay, while well, you can see this, once the new pod is successfully up, then what we will do corresponding to this, there will be one old replica which we are going to remove. Okay. Got it. Then we will try to create the second new replica, same way. And once it is up, we will delete the old second replica. So, like this, for how many other replicas you have? In a rolling update, one by one, you create the new replica, and corresponding to that, you are going to delete the old replica. So when I say new replica, it is from the new image. Old replica represents containers or pod from the old image. So that's where in rolling update, one by one happens. Okay. Now, when is it needed, and what is the advantages and disadvantages of a rolling update? So first thing. Rolling update is the default strategy of Kubernetes. So, so far, if you haven't given anything, it always does in rolling update. So the advantage is here is it is slow. So it's always good for you to know what is happening. So it will take one by one. It doesn't just delete everything and recreate. Okay. And if you have a stateful application, like a database or any other application where it stores its own memory inside the same container. Then if you recall, I've told you for a stateful application, the replicas always has to be created one after the other, right? So that way it's quite necessary. If you have an application of the type stateful, then rolling update will be convenient. But what is the disadvantage? Disadvantage is the same. It's time consuming, right? What if I tell you you have 100 replicas to replace? You're going to wait for one by one to replace. And the same time, if there is a problem, then how do you roll back? Once again, rolling back will be one by one. So it has to create one new replica equivalent to the old image and then delete the new one. So that way, rolling back will also happen one by one. So definitely, that is not going to be suitable in many cases okay and then now if you want to control the traffic for example let's say i want to test only the new replicas for my customer right before i give the rollout then how do i differentiate because now it's the same deployment one container is running from old image another one is running from the new image and the service will be distributing the load to both of them right so how do you control which one should you access? Should you access the new one or the old one? If you want to do, then you need a lot of better way of managing your service, which is going to be expensive, especially if you think of having multiple load balancers or ingress controllers, then it's actually a little more complicated than what you think. So this is where rolling update is usually suitable for QA based environments or UAT in which once again, you are not worried about the downtime, but you just make sure while you are accessing something, you remove everything one by one. Okay. So most of the time for all the QA and UAT deployments, you can think of using rolling update. Okay. And this is for the stateless application. But if your application is of the type stateful, then you can think of using the rolling update for production also okay but if it's a state less application then using rolling update is only for dev and qa okay so that's how you should also understand got it for stateless rolling update is good only for 
dev and not dev basically qa and uat okay so now the same way for this demo what we will do i'll again take some builds here okay so let me take the first build as blue then in the rolling update i will change one by one from blue to red and then if i want to do it again then we will change red with green okay so just assume blue is build one red is build two green is build three okay so let's go back okay so first what i'll do i'll uh, delete those which is already running all right so i don't have anything as of now okay now this is where i have another file called rolling update okay so here it's the same deployment manifest file i have made a copy but the only difference that you see here is there is no strategy type keyword so that means it is a rolling update that means it's going to switch replicas one by one not everything together okay and here i'm starting with orange is that what i've said no blue so let's change this to blue first so assume this is my first build that i'm going to deploy and this is also going to be a node port service so it's the same whatever i showed you earlier i've taken but the only thing is i've not given any strategy okay so let's start with blue so again this is the first time so there is no difference on anything so let's just go ahead and update and same way two pods deployment object replica set and you see your service so it is 30460 so now i'll take here and i'll change 30460 so you have your application running so which is our first build so now let's try to deploy it using rolling update so how many replicas we have two replicas right so this is where so let's go to the same manifest file and now i want to deploy a new image so what is this second build so now i'll change this to red okay so here if you say kubectl apply now before that let me show this here also it's frequently disconnected so first let's see here how the container gets created one by one okay and then i'll show you the application how it is working so kubectl apply hyphen sorry get parts watch okay so there are two so now watch what happens as soon as i say apply here so you can also see the traffic how it is changing okay so you see first here there were two replicas so first it is creating one new replica from the red and then it deletes one old blue replica and then it creates one new red replica and corresponding to that it deletes one blue replica and if you have actually noted the change here the colors were changing because the traffic started flowing right now let me show you again here so so this time we'll change the build recreate 
sorry rolling update and we'll try to take green as our third build okay so i want you to see all this together okay so just watch here how the color gets changed so everything is red but in the rolling update as soon as one new pot comes for green you should see the traffic is being shared between red and blue because we have both of them together right and then when the second replica also comes up 100% traffic is moved to green and that's where you should see everything is green okay so watch it now so first one green is created okay and you can see the traffic is flowing and then it's trying to create the second green and then the traffic is switched to that so that's how when 100% all the old replicas are replaced you can see there is no red everything is green got it and here i'm just trying to show you how many deployments i did so we had blue and then we changed red and then to green so did you see the difference now the problem here as i said it's doing one by one so if i have 100 replicas it's going to be definitely time consuming and rolling back is also problem because even in rolling back it has to do one by one right so there is going to be definitely a traffic right now it's just a stateless application nothing much content is there but you actually have multiple replicas with some content it's going to take some time and second problem is how do you control the traffic because at the same time if you have noted you had both the colors so that means traffic is going to both the containers now what if i want traffic to go only to one set of containers that you cannot reach okay. so, on. so let me show you once again understand so this time what we will do okay i'll put the orange and now let's just look at the application how it looks you can see slowly one pod second pod and 100% that is done then all the green based pods are deleted so right now you have only replicas which is receiving is green and you can see the traffic is only sent to green so that's how if you visualize your facebook linkedin or your bank looks the same but on the back end your newer and newer versions would be updated clear so far okay so this is rolling update but again we understood this is not suitable for production when you have a stateless application right and this is where in the market we have 